Hey guys, what's happening today? Uh, me and Venus are down here at Kalamaka Lake on the Okanagan Rail Trail. Check out down there, see that water? Blue as ever. Uh, we're about to take this paddleboard across the lake. Here, I'll show you where. So we're gonna head across the lake to that, to this peninsula over here. And we're gonna check it out. We got a rock sack, waterproof bag. Uh, we got a paddleboard. We got a backpack cooler. We're basically set, ready to go. Casey already went for a swim. I'm about to do the same. And we'll see you down there. This little beach, check out how nice it is. And we're gonna head across now. And it should be pretty freaking amazing. We just walked by and seen the hugest fish in the water. Probably six, seven pounds, just massive. Just sitting down in the crystal clear water. It's really wavy. It's wavy today? A little bit, a little bit. But we'll make her. Okay. So we're just leaving the shore. And we're gonna get hit with some boater waves here. I don't have the case on the phone. Waterproof case, I was using it earlier, but I'm a little bit worried about the sound, so. Look at that epic yard. Just a pink sand beach. Imagine having a pink sand beach on that blue water. Like, woo! Life is good for those this people. This is called Crystal Water. Crystal, yeah, this is Crystal Waters Road. So we, so we went uh, down Highway 97 towards Oyama uh, in Lake Country, and then we took Crystal Waters Road, and then we just walked down the rail trail for like five, ten minutes, and now we're launching out here. So stay tuned. You know what I mean for. It's a little bit, it's smoky, uh, cause we live in the Smokinoggin. The wildfires are like abundant. Usually it's really hot here in the summer. Probably above 100 Fahrenheit, you know, above 30 a lot of the time. Well, above 35 a lot of the time, especially lately. Uh, yeah. So we're about halfway now, getting closer. There's a beach over there we're just gonna pull up on. Like a couple one, two freaking badasses. Oh, there's a boat there? Well, we ain't gonna mess with him. So this is like, where we're looking right now is basically uh, Cougar Canyon's back there. I don't know if, whatever. If you're not a local, you're probably not gonna know where Cougar Canyon is, but behind these mountains here, there's a valley called Cougar Canyon. And it's got about six lakes, like a chain of these six little lakes. And then there's some crazy cliffs over there and uh, it's a big rock climbing area. Yeah, and Casey said she's gonna rock climb. <laughs> what? Always with the hype. You'll hike? You'll hike up a rock face? Okay, fair enough. A couple of the waters, I don't know if it shows up. So it's deep though. Little bay. We're gonna sip on this little Pacifico. And then we're gonna cruise around the bay on the paddleboard. And then there's like this cliff over there where that boat is. If you can see that. And we're gonna see if we can jump off that cliff. Maybe. Well, Maybe. They jumped it. I can do it. That'd be cool. It'd be epic. So, you know, you live only but once. Do this. I'll do it for you. Here, take this, take this, take You're gonna hurt yourself. Here, take this. Bang, see that? <laughs> Pacifico, baby. Mexico's finest. Get your life together. And get a Pacifico. Yeah. Beautiful. We're pulling up on the shore here soon. And the water is just the bluest of a kind. Mm -hmm. Or it's maybe like aquamarine, or how would you describe that? Jade? Uh, like that. Maybe jade? Like it's more greeny than blue, really. Right. But it's, it's, but it's beautiful. And we're about to see the bottom of the lake for the first time in the water. It took us about 20 minutes to get across, I bet. Yeah. And Not so bad. A bit, there's a beach all the way around here. And I've always wanted to come here. Wow. 
I know I keep saying it, but <laughs> damn, look how clear that water is. Oh, Shit. So nice. I know. I, I never. Swimming. Yeah. Well, we'll go around and see if we can pull up over here. Cause there's, I mean, private property signs, and you know what? No, private property like. Yeah. I think this. That's not a great beach, though. I think we can find it better. Okay. But like. Oh, wow, <sighs> Ooh, some fish. Look at the fish. I don't know if you guys can see those. Whole bunch of fish down there. All right. We're just pulling up this log. Okay, she's gonna do a backflip. Damn, she's crazy. Oh, I wanna hang out here though. You think it's possible? Well, let's, um, I don't know, I want to. It says private. Oh, please keep off. Oh, these, they put these logs here so that the, for like animals to, for animals to hang out on. That's what I think they did. Yeah, it says, please keep off habitat enhancement project coming in. Ooh. Beautiful. So cool. So we landed on a beach. It says private property is someone's land. So we're just going to stay in the water because obviously that's not private you can't privatize water or can you maybe you can look at those lily pads though right in front of us kind of cool little beach stretches down there we've seen three massive fish as we pulled up like and a duck Shore. We're gonna head along the shore. Yeah, we're gonna see if we can jump that cliff over there. And look at that lucky. Yeah, these lucky people who got I this. I know. Cliff. Like, how did they RV. get so lucky? How did they get that here? Yeah, exactly. Did they put it on a barge or something? Because I don't think there's a. I mean, I thought this is boat in, but maybe there's a road that's in Yeah. But wow. Imagine waking up. It's just security, actually. There's security? Yeah, so the I don't cameras? think it's... No, like, it's just on the trailer. Mm. We can stop here, actually. So we landed on this little beach. We're hoping the security guy in that little trailer up there doesn't harass us. We don't want him to harass us. You know what I mean? And Casey is gonna. Go swimming. Yeah, we were gonna go to that cliff and then like two boatloads of young adolescence pulled up and it made me say you know what i'm in my late 30s i don't want to be jumping off a cliff with a bunch of adolescents so we'll see we're waiting it out and then if uh, we go around there and they're not there then i'll jump because i don't want to be like hey hey the old guys jumping off the cliff like that you know what i mean the old guy making youtube videos is jumping off the cliff Ah, it doesn't get much worse. Anyways. So we've arrived on shore. We're back across the lake. And Casey wanted to take a dip. And we just found this little beach. Then we're gonna cruise over there and get back to our car.
We were gonna go up there, but there's people there. We don't want to blow up their spot. We don't want to blow up their spot with the freaking power ball rolling in. So we're gonna have to go all the way to the other spot. But it's all right. About to finish our little excursion here. We've been out there for probably how long? Like four hours? Like yeah, four hours since probably. 12. What time is yeah, it now? I don't so even know. Pull up to this nice little beach here. Way closer to our car than we yeah when those. We came here. Originally there was so many people, so now it's just empty. Mm -hmm.